snow in this country. In the year 2012, Catherine, Dada went skiing at Threadbow. It was one of the best days skiing ever. So it is from Tuesday through to Friday. But the problem was that there was no But the problem was that there was no skiing because there was no wind. And it happened because eventually over the home. And Dada and Deke skied all afternoon in the powder snow and it was the best. I'm gonna take this hooey nappy out. Good morning. I've got something to show you. That sounds quite dramatic. I do though. Seems you can only borrow wheels for so long. Any guesses? Sony 5100. That image stabilization stuff's definitely an issue. He actually took it quite well, but he has done. So I can't run that um, fixed focal length lens, which is annoying because it looks so nice when it's stable. So I am going to go the full shoulder strap option for the next couple of rides. So I've got some Peak Design, a Peak Design uh, strap, which I'll run over the shoulder, see how that goes. Just see how it's like riding with it, see if it's any way reasonable. But, sound. My requirements for a camera are bizarre, like they're not, most normal people don't cycle with a nice camera pointing around straight at them. Audio on a bike. We're, we're gonna try the patented Miller solution. Damage free hanging tape. So there's your two microphone points, your stereo left and right. Basically what I do is then run a larger one across the top like that. Then we put a bit of cotton wool under here. A bit of a balance between actual microphone outs. Now theoretically. Be able to do this. Okay, so here come the excuses. Left a couple of my jerseys down at the farm. I'm right. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation. Haters gonna hate. <laughs> so I'm just riding into the park there and I was thinking to myself, you know, I've got two by 40 to do. And it would not have been long ago that I could literally think of nothing worse to do. I'm very excited this morning. I just have junk on my program. Which not only that, I'd probably come up with 30 excuses. You could do four of your 30s yesterday, you only did yeah, two. Yeah, but they were hard. And yet, today my motivation is like so high to train. It's not because dramatic improvements, still a club A grader, something has definitely changed in my mindset. And I'm talking specifically about training here, right? I'm assuming we're all semi-motivated at this stage to get out on the bike. Trying to get my head around then my actual motivation. And I think I've narrowed it down. Because my time is somewhat limited, <coughs> doing a 40K sort of hill loop or something like that, weirdly, right, it doesn't seem to me to be a fair use of time given what's waiting for me at home. Making the most of those hours and then that translating into some improvement, I think that's what's keeping my brain excited about, at the end of the day, pretty bloody boring repeats. This is weird to say, but it kind of feels less selfish. I think that makes sense. Slightly less selfish. In what is effectively a pretty selfish sport. Now, speaking of not being selfish, I need to do some intervals. Obviously, my motivation is totally different to what Jesse's motivation is, Angus's motivation. Why should someone who has kids, a full-time job, all the rest of it, get out and do efforts? Why shouldn't they just go ride their bike and have fun? Kind of what I'm talking about because, you know, it's something that I, I think about a lot because, you know, there I am at races a lot of the time with guys who are 
you know, the Jessies and the Angus of this world who have got totally different motivations to what I do. I think actually what I'm talking about here, I finally, this long diatribe has finally got a, some sort of narrative. This is training versus riding. Four people who don't want to be pros, who are not training to be world beaters. Why should we train? Okay, I'm going to be as clear and succinct as possible because that was a whole heap of verbal diarrhea on the, on the bike. Why should someone train rather than just ride. I'm gonna do this in four bits. And the first two are borderline irrelevant because they're so obvious. The first one is because I'm training for an event or a race. Should he, should he should he come through? I'm not gonna go into any more detail than that. The second one just has to be measured improvement. I haven't done a 20 minute test in ages, so setting my goals pretty high here. Clearly, there's something, it's why, it's why we all love Strava. There is something about going out and trying to beat your own personal best. I think I've PR'd, I've definitely PR'd it. Now, the second two, I think, are slightly more interesting and are very specific to my circumstance. The third one, I train because it makes me feel like my riding is less selfish. And I realize saying that is actually sounding selfish. If I just went out for an hour 40 minutes there and just rode around, that feels more selfish to me than having a targeted training session. At least with a targeted training session, and this is for me, it feels like I've either gone out and improved, I've gone out and tried to better myself. Not swift. The fourth reason is because it makes the riding, the social riding stuff, more fun. The group ride thing, where it's not part of your training, you'll enjoy those more when it's not a routine. Oh, did any of that make sense? You can see it straight up my nose. Big nose too. This is gonna be a pain in the butt to edit because I haven't really, I don't think I've actually got across my point. Oh, gotta go. Okay. Hmm. Heading up to see a friend has always been super helpful with me, uh, specifically on the, the website and on the web store. Forces me to have those sort of salesy discussions, like a sold out of the deck of stuff. And as you guys probably know, the promotion was pretty... Minimal? A bit of money. I am making some big changes to the website at the moment, but there's some certain shortcomings from it now that I'm starting to find. Hello, how are you? So Luke broke his leg almost a year ago at North Sydney Oval, believe it or not jumping on to celebrate a win. He's actually getting the plates removed in a couple of weeks. And then he is hoping to join us at King Valley because he has a really good eye with a camera. Not that we don't love your footage, Danny. Tell Bruce. Yep. But you're racing, okay? No more getting sick DRC. Depends like how the procedure goes and the rest of it, but it'd be awesome to have his, him down. And trust me, you guys will definitely appreciate it because he knows how to use a camera. We're going out to dinner this evening, Elizabeth and I. Getting a babysitter, doing what grown-ups do. I think I've mentioned this in the past. Oh, Kiwi's getting her monkey suit on, is she? See you this weekend. You can walk across. 